Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking for lunch Spanish roast potatoes and pork. So let's begin. Well, so let's begin. This is a very quick to do recipe by the way. You've probably seen me make another roast before. So I'm going to turn this on, the stove on for that. And what I've got here is about half a litre of water with a stock cube a gnaw type of stock cube and what I'm going to do I'm going to add some Provencal herbs to it so sprinkle some black pepper as well obviously you can add as much or as less as you like well black pepper, this pepper is multicoloured I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sweet paprika also. And some salt. Not a lot because the stock cube has salt already. And I'm going to bring that to the boil. And while I wait this to start boiling, I've got my oven um, tray here and just let me I've got my potatoes ready here peeled so I'm just gonna get the water out right the water's out and next I've got about it's a piece of pork loin it's about 600 grams enough for the two of us so I'm just gonna put it on here um, to one side and what I like to do is stuff it with some garlic cloves. So I'll just make some holes in and just put the garlic cloves in. There you go. You don't have to do this, but I do like to do it. So come on, get in. That's a bit hard, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So next, um, the potatoes, as they're quite, they're sort of small to the medium size, I'm going to cut them in half lengthways, so they're like that, and I'm just going to put them on there, just spread them evenly on the tray. If you've seen me make a roast before, you will know that I never use any oil and I always use the broth this is the way that I learned how to do it here in Spain and I find it much better than making the typical roast potatoes which do contain which you have to add oil to them to make them nice and crispy I'll be doing them one day. So I do fancy some British type roast potatoes, nice and crispy ones. Okay, so that's all done. Let's try and find a, a gap for these. Look at that, nice, nicely calculated. Awesome. So the broth is ready, it's just starting to boil, so I'll turn that off. And um, wait, this is spinning. Look at that. But yeah. So basically I'm just going to put it all over everything. And as you know, I never preheat my oven. I just whack it in the oven and use the fan assist. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 220C. I'll leave a link up here with the if, which I can't think at the moment. I know 200 is 390 if. But hey, I'll chuck that in the oven at 220 for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes have gone by, I'll take it out and flip it all out. 
Okay, so the first half an hour's gone by. So what I'll do is turn everything over. Well, the potatoes will get nicely toasty. Whoa, it's a bit hard to this. That juice should evaporate quite a lot. I don't want it to all evaporate, so I like to have some to pour on my plate. So I like squashing the potatoes with the juice. Ouch! Splash me. Right. And that's the last one. And look, the garlic's popping out of there, doesn't matter. And this, I'm going to turn it out over. And we'll put it back in the oven um, another half an hour. Well, so another half an hour has gone by and this is ready. So let's serve it on a plate. And here you go, a delicious lunch cooked in one hour. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.